I know what's in this box, so I'm really excited to show you. Oh, oh. Welcome back to the channel. I've done my postage. If you want to see what those things were that sold, please check out the link in the description down below for my second channel, Ricky Resold, where I'll show you everything that sells. In the meantime, I've just picked up again, so I'm going to show you exactly what I got today. And there are some gems in there. I'm really looking forward to getting through these boxes myself. I've not had a chance to go through them yet, so we're going to do it together. Let's get into it. Right, so what we've got here is a bunch of stuff. So you have an Amazon box full, a bag, and two of these boxes, and I've got all this cardboard today as well. That's some postage that's been done. There's some really cool bits in here. I don't know what to start with first. Uh, this box is half of a mystery to me. I only saw the top two things, and this is a bit of a mystery, even though it's quite obvious what's in the this Games Workshop stuff. But I haven't, been, I haven't looked for it properly yet. There's some cool bits in here too. So I don't know the best way to do this. Let's figure this out. We do lots of trialing and erroring in the new spot. We'll start with this bag first, because there's only a couple of bits in there It's going to be easy to do. Uh, is that Sven? Is it Sven's yak moose donkey thing it's not a donkey i know that by disney but i've never seen one which is kitted out with all of the the blankets and the side panels and stuff i've never seen that one before so definitely worth a grab estimation 15 to 18 pound on that i could be quite nicely surprised or it could be worth a tenner a rather large disney store rex i've never seen one that big either again so i just picked them up because of that really value wise i'm going to put probably about 20 quid on that I will be doing screenshots up here so you can see just how far I am close or beyond the figure. Well, if I put you two together, do you promise not to fight? Tech 21 Protection Made Intelligent, an impact snap case for the Apple Air 13. Should we see if it's even in there? Probably not. It is. It's in there. Anybody got an Apple Air 13? 13 inch? Probably about a tenner on that, if that MacBook's still being used. When was this made? 2015, yeah, it's an older one. A pair of Adidas Basket Profi. I'm guessing Profi short for professional, I don't know. These are made in 2012. I don't know, maybe 15 quid. If I'm lucky. In fact, the clothing needs to come home with me, so that can go in there. And I picked up this box, just because it looks like it's full of useful things. There we go. The label on the side says garden watering system bits, but I, I was looking at like the hooks and the cable ties and the cable sorters and just thought it was a nice bit of DIY. I think that's pretty much as boring as it gets. We'll have a quick little look through the Warhammer stuff first, just so I can see if there's anything worth telling you about. These books are probably going to be worth a nice bit of gosh. When are these printed? They look quite modern to be fair, but it doesn't matter. They still have value. When I say modern, I'm talking like 2015, 2016 or something. Is that the back? 2008. So there's that one. There's the Imperial Guard. Tyranids or Tyranids. That's just a box of Wii controllers and stuff. So there's boxes of stuff here. Looks to be still on, on its... Uh, on the plastic they are used they're definitely used i mean look at that terrible paint job never get that in mad for miniatures so these are painted they still have value what i'm hoping to do is go through here and pull something out which is sealed Does that makes sense i think that's the actual one box i think there's 15 15 quid in that regardless and these are all painted a lot of plastics some naughty ones though, which is good, some older ones. I'm not gonna bore you with all of these and go through them all. I'll just tell you what I think the whole lot's worth in the end. I'm guessing that's some kind of scene that somebody's painted. Somebody might recognize it. Citadel scene, who knows? So we've got these boxes here. This is, has it ever been used? I think that's missing something out of that gap just there, but it's otherwise unused. I think these are again 2008-ish, 2008, yes, yeah, so it's all from that sort of period. There's not much else, you know? I mean, there's all these boxes again. These all have like bits and pieces in. I'm guessing it's all going to be used. So like a couple of boxes of like half used with like, I'm guessing like spares. Again, some more on there, just spares. What I'll do is I'll job lot this lot up. Warhammer 40,000 Tau Empire. That looks completely unused, to be honest. Again, it's probably 2008, it's from that sort of era. So uh, we're looking at that kind of stuff. 2007, so that kind of era. All right, so that's the Warhammer stuff. D-Caddy badge, anybody know who D-Caddy is? 
Let's put all that back in there. Because although there's good money in Warhammer, if I told you it interested me, I'd be lying. I could think of lots of things worse. I've got a coffee machine, which of course I'm going to need to test it. It's a Kenwood Cafe Retro. As long as it's all tested and working, estimation 60 quid. How close was I? Bunch of Lego pieces, some figures, spares and stuff. That'll just go into the rest of my Lego boxes, which I've got stacks and stacks of it. And then what I do is I'll just weigh it and do a big job lot. I'll take all the figures out. I've got loads of mini figures collected up now. John Lewis Mac, that'll go on Hot Knot. Don't forget as well, there's a link in the description down below to come and join my Whatnot page as well. I will be getting back into this ring and doing some auctions. I have got stock for days now. I've been collecting it up so much of it to go through and i will start getting some shows in order so make sure you follow the link down below to be notified when that comes through another mac by nuage rainwear again that'll just be what knotted quickly go through whatever this is I don't, i've no idea on values of this stuff avo feels very suede -y. i don't know if it's worth money or not very sort of dressy uppy maybe even a bit of a kink to it some of this stuff it's not getting me going, but can't find a brand on that. Another one by that Evo company. Two of the same. I'm going to research that in a minute before I edit this video. I can't actually find anything about it. So if anybody recognises this label, please do let me know in the comments down below because I'd really, really appreciate it. Thanks. Again, more of it. Are they a dominant company? I've never heard of them before. Have I struck gold? Again, a bag by the same company. I don't want to bore you. This is obviously all by the same company. Anything that sort of flower design? Yeah, yeah. So more there, more there, more there. Oh, this is, this is pretty sick. Very 70s looking. Whether they are 70s or not, I don't know. But how slick is that? Like a little jumpsuit type thing. I like that. Same there. I'm hoping this is a good brand. If it is, we could have struck gold here, boys and girls. Hat, same sort of makeup, same sort of material. It could even be a, you know, person's own brand. That's obviously from the same thing as well. Avo, no idea on value, no idea. That's gonna have to be a surprise for all of us. I'll put some screenshots up here or a rolling video. This is what it's worth. Or if it's not worth anything, I'm staring at myself, there's nothing there, it's just a blank thing, so I'm going to insert John Luke's head. A bunch of Les Minor dolls, I don't know if that's how you say it, they're all kind of vintage dolls, that one's lost its head. There's loads of different sorts here. Again, what I'll do with these is, bundle them all up, and do a job lot bundle, and I'll let the market dictate the price on those. A bunch of random beauty products, I won't go through all them because it's boring. Some nice safety shoes. What size are they? UK 10. I might have to keep those actually. If not, there's about a tenner in them. Roberts Radio. Purple. Never seen it in the purple before. It's a more modern one. Is it DAB? It is DAB, but it's battered. If it's in working condition, maybe 20 odd quid, even in that condition. A bunch of Husqvarna flip-flops. Probably going to save these for the summer. Or I might just list them now anyway, just to get them on there. If you've never seen this before, you need to go through... Um, they sell for about 10, 15 pounds, even pre-owned, especially in the height of summer. They're a nice little brand. Shh, Snoopy, Peanuts. Is it old? Don't know. Hallmark licensing, probably. A little bit too late for me, unfortunately. That would have sold nicely around Christmas time. 15 quid, 20 quid. Futura 3 litre pressure cooker. Pressure pan, like a, it's a manual one. It's not a... Uh, Right, self heat we have to heat it up it's in good condition 15 20 quid unless it's a good brand it'll be worth even more i don't know when i'm doing these videos for you unless i know the stuff everything's an estimate everything's an estimate anyway because the market is always changing millennium dome 2000 paperweight probably worth 10p smoke weed every day stack of ps3 games i won't go through those with you because it's boring they just go straight to jack dobbins who actually has a youtube channel himself now showing you what he does big into the game and stuff go and check them out if you want to i know what's in this box so i'm really excited to show you but i'll show you them in a minute 
Boeing 747, some kind of plane system, like a puzzle and some pictures. Buffet forks, everything sells. Calligraphy set and an albeit a brand new, but albeit squashed Lego Duplo, easy to clean bath time fun set. I don't know, what, 15 maybe? Whoa! Sorry about that. Oh, oh. Just gonna empty this box first. Geo art book. Half kids some backpack, good condition. And some more cutlery. Most of that stuff from there, I'm not gonna show you prices because they're about five, 10, 15 pound if that. The nerds are going to nerd out when they see what's in this box. So these are all old toys. This is a Kenner Parker Toys, 1986. They're all gonna need cleaning. They look like they've been in a loft somewhere. So I don't really know. Uh, what set most of these are from but some of these I do so this, this could be a very rare part from a from a toy somewhere do you know what I mean what we have here boys and girls is a box full of masters of the universe all the original ones I mean look they are cobwebby and dusty as hell I mean he's got a spider between his nuts but we've got tons of them, tons and tons. I think what I'm gonna to have to do, I mean, some of them are knackered. Hopefully they're not all completely battered like that. But what I'm gonna to have to do is Jafar, just take them home, I think, and clean them up. Maybe actually, maybe this is a box full of spares or something because, well, that's a fake one. It looks to me like every single one actually, actually, is every single one missing something? I think every single one is missing something. Well, that one's not. Oh, there's half of the mirror, dude. Oh, is it? Oh, I oh, ever get half. And there's some smaller ones in here as well. I think that hat goes on. That head goes on there. Maybe? I don't know. So there are some cool bits in there. I do need to reach out. I think it's Utopia that keeps asking me if I get any master of the universe stuff whatever oh is that um evil can evil his battery's exploded if it is regardless but it looks like somebody's box of toys have just chucked them in here chucked them in the loft and let them be chucked them in the poly these are probably sat in the garage for however long oh it's an absolute crying shame or sid from toy stories had these maybe these were sids but some very cool bits in there nonetheless. I am going to take them home to clean those up, I think. I'm not going to mess with them here. But, do you know what this car's from? Anyone? A nice little bundle regardless. Even if they are all broken, there's still going to be some value in there for spares and repairs. But I'm going to take them all home, wipe them all down, and then have a little look and see what's there. So, I have to stay tuned for an update on those for what they sell. Now, this was an interesting looking box as well. Yeah. Is this going to work? Yeah. I'll do it like this. More computer games, just Wii games. We don't need to worry about those as they get sold wholesale. A couple of consoles as well to go with the other 55,000 consoles that I've got. I don't like this camera angle, I hate it. I've been leaning and stuff the whole way through. I don't like it at all. I'll have to change it and work on that. Right, Fisher Price walkie talkie set from 1988. As long as there's no batteries exploded in it, it'll be sellable. Value wise, who knows? I'm going to say 20, 25 quid. Please don't be any batches in there. There is, but they haven't exploded. The old Ever Ready Golds. Look at them bad boys. Seen them for a while, are you? Actually, I'm lying. I have had some stuff in there a little while ago. I wonder if they've got power left in them. No. But they're pretty smart, aren't they? They're from 1988. Licensed production from 1970, 1987 to 1988. They've got a lifetime guarantee on them. So if they're not working, I'm going to ring them up. Again, yeah, about 20, 25 quid I should imagine on those. I could be very surprised. I hope I'm surprised. Just a few seasons too late. Big Mouth Billy Bass Christmas edition. We'll see if it works another time. Uh, but I normally get about 30 to 40 pounds for the Big Basses. Christmas edition, I've never sold one. But I'm guessing it might be a little bit more during the season. Hopefully, they still value out of season. I guess there will be. Power leads for the Wii. 
couple of planes here. I haven't had a chance to look into them. Bearing in mind, so I do need to change the setup a little bit because I'm recording on my phone and I can't do my research, obviously, while I'm filming. So I think that's to be an estimate. This is by Peter Kin, and it's a Halula, oh, Aloha Holidays plane. Makes noises. And this one is an Airbus A380, which wasn't broken when I put it in there. So I've broken that, no idea. Okay, so most of this stuff, I haven't looked at here, so I don't really know what's that. So I don't know about prices, so I'm just gonna put the screenshots up. Think Links by Debongo Games. Spears Games poster printing, as long as everything's in there. Crayola designer kit. This looks quite old, actually. Is there a date on there? I haven't seen it, but it does look quite old. Uh, no idea on the value. Screenshots up there somewhere for you. Well, there's no football figures on it, but this is one of those Super Cup footballs by Tony. Unless there's a drawer of stuff in it, I don't know. Oh, there they all are. They're all in there. So, Super Cup football by Tomy. Something tells me this is quite valuable, but I can't remember how much it's worth. Deeper works. Um, I'm not sure. Screenshots will be up here. What is this? Oh, is that a robot from Robot Wars? <laughs> it is. I don't know, this could be gimmicky and worth nothing, or it could be worth a few quid. Chances are it's probably battered a little bit. 1998, Sir Killalot, of course he is. Oh, I used to love Robot Wars. Uh, it's also got like a floor pad. I'm guessing that's the game area. And a few other bits and pieces here. Another flip pad. A smaller version, what was his name? I can't remember his name. Logistics Kids Retail 2000, who knows? The words out my mouth might well be that I don't know, but you will be getting the information up here because I will be researching as I am going through the edits. That's really cool, isn't it? And I've got some cardboard boxes as well. So hopefully you've seen a couple of things that might stick out in your brain to look out for next time. And hopefully you've learned a couple of things as well. Again, just another gentle reminder, you can see what everything sells for on my second channel. Link is in the description down below. And also my whatnot channel is down there as well. Come along, come and click those links and join. It takes a couple of seconds each and then you're followed and up to date, aren't you? If you enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments down below and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye. Now I've got to go and do all this stuff. Oh God.